Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to, today I actually really needed to get into Binance. I want to place a uh, limit sell order above the market. So if this particular coin does go crazy for whatever reason, um, I can go ahead and have a limit order working for me um, in the market even though I could be away from the computer. So um, I know Binance is not um, exactly straightforward like other programs like Coinbase and so forth. So I wanted to get in here and show how, to, how I go about uh, placing buy and sell limit orders. And there's really not too much difference between buy and sell limit orders. Um, so you can go here and it will actually open up um, a trading screen, the basic trading screen. Um, but this is the token that I want to place the sell order, uh, sell limit order on, and this is uh, Mana. So what we can do is, what I usually do is, I, I like the uh, advanced. Sometimes when you are offered basic, it's almost too basic and you have to still hunt and peck for what you want to do. But uh, with advanced, I, I like the layout of the screen and it gives you all the different options. So what I do is, uh, since we want mana, so just go up here, and then I'm under the USD uh, trading pair. So there's trading pairs for BTC, Bitcoin, and uh, the difference, uh, they call it fiat, but you know, USDT, Tether, um, BUSD, which I think is kind of like a Binance token, I'm not quite sure, USDC, which is also a, uh, uh, USD paired coin. So what um, what we want is USD, uh, yeah USD, and then um, type in mana, and then go here, and then it'll generate a new screen. What it's doing is it's getting into that mana trading pair um, because we were in another trading pair when I first uh, came to the screen. I'm not sure exactly which trading pair that was. But you can confirm that you're in the correct um, trading pair up here, and it says amount in mana. And uh, secondarily, you can also confirm that you're in the correct trading pair via the price as well. You just have to make sure, you know, it's, it's just a second double check, if you will. Um, so you can see where I have one cell limit order for engine. Um, and that was, you know, placed before. So we'll let that one be. And so what we want is I want to sell, and it's always, uh, in this case, it's a limit order. You can place mar market orders if you want. Um, sometimes you won't get the best price. Um, in this case, limit order. Um, most of the time when I'm placing orders, 90% of the time, if not more, I'll be in and place and limit orders because I want full control over the price that I want to enter and exit at. So uh, the price that I want to, now this is like way above the market, so this is if, uh, in my particular case, um, I want to get in here and I want to place a sell in case it doubles. So I want to capture that double quickly so what I'll set it for is two dollars and eleven cents, um, and that's uh, let me make sure I'm doing that right. So the amounts that I want to sell, I have roughly three eighty, and I want to sell half, so it'll be one ninety, and um, so that looks right. So um, you just I always kind of get a little confused when I'm in here um, placing it, but. As long as you look through it, everything makes sense. You can see as soon as I put in that 190 there, it populated with the total down here. So you know that it's correct. And as you can see, this is a slider bar. That's exactly 50% of my holdings. That's that's awesome. That's what I want to do. So I did the math beforehand, but uh, you could also go in here and move the slider around and say how much uh, you want to sell. And um, it has the available your available amount down here. So it makes it pretty straightforward. So just to review, um, I want to catch a double at $2.11. I want to sell half of my available mana, which is $1.90. Um, 
for a total of $402 and change. So I want to, and then this is a cell limit. So let's go ahead, cell limit. And then once again, cell limit, uh, price $2.11. Amount is half the current ADA, or the current ADA, current mana I have. And for a total of $402, confirm. And then it will be placed here. So what I love about these cell limit orders is anytime that the market really takes off, you could be at work, you could be running errands, you could be wherever, but these sell limit orders are going to be working for you, and that's the beauty of this. Um, and sometimes price jumps up quickly and then rebounds, but uh, if it if price crosses your sell limit order, then that limit should be filled, and um, you know this is computers working for you. Whenever you the cell limit order is kind of like a computer, and it can it can react pretty quickly, um, more quickly than a human can. And besides that, it takes out emotions, which is uh, you know something great. When whenever you can remove rem emotions from trading, you're going to be profitable. All right, so um, that is kind of the basics there, um, and then uh, another thing I wanted to show you is. Whenever you, within uh, Binance.us or Binance regular, if, if you're outside of the US, anytime that you hold the BNB token, um, you can, uh, so when you hold BNB and use BNB to pay for trading fees, which I think is like automatically set up, uh, you can go into the settings and check, um, you will receive 25% discount on these fees. So it makes it nice and um, you can save a little bit on the fees. Anytime that you can save on fees, uh, that's a great thing because it can help the bottom line. And uh, so they have some different things going on. But that is the main point that I want to uh, hammer home. So, all right, well, with this trading, I hopefully it will become more clear on how to uh, place trades in Binance or Binance.us via uh, buy or sell. All right, thanks.